So first of all, tell us a little bit about Brianna and tell us about the condition that she has. Brianna is a loving little eight-year-old girl that is in the second grade. She was diagnosed a few years ago with mitochondrial disease. Um, we didn't at that time, we had never even heard of mitochondrial disease. Um, once we realized what mitochondrial disease was, how it affected her and so many others, we knew we had to do something to raise awareness because there is no treatment or cure and it is debilitating disease and life-threatening. Talk a little bit about the disease itself, the okay. symptoms that it can cause and, and how it's been affecting Brianna. Okay. Um, once Brianna got diagnosed, she was actually lifeline to Riley from a common code and was in the hospital for over a month and was in intensive care. At that time, we knew nothing. We didn't know why she was so sick. Um, we knew she was very weak. She slept a lot. She would fall. Um, so she started having to use a wheelchair. She ended up getting a muscle biopsy and come back as mitochondrial disease. Mitochondrial is, uh, produces 90% of everyone's energy, your body's energy. It is the powerhouse. When you have mitochondrial disease, your body doesn't produce enough energy. So talking, walking, um, everything your body does to function comes from your mitochondrial cells and when your body doesn't get enough energy your organs get damaged and then they fail. So let's talk about what's being done. I mean there's been a team put together that's helping and communities supporting. What is the, the newest event that's getting ready to happen? Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we decided at the very beginning we had to do everything we could to raise awareness. Um, I can't stop this disease and I can't take it away from Brianna, but I can raise awareness and I can raise money for research. So a group of us ladies, I call them Team Brianna, most of them school teachers and nurses, we come together, we're gonna to have a walk, we have a, a walk and run every September. It will be at Fairbanks Park this Saturday. Um, it starts at two o'clock, but we will have registrations from uh, 12.30 to 1.30. It is $10 and um, it means the world to us. Um, I can't do this alone, um, and I know this community cares, and they want to help, and they come out, and um, it's a great cause. And again, yeah, all the money goes towards medical expenses, and, and does it go towards, does any of it go towards research or anything like that, or, or how does it, the money go? Like? All the money that we raise, we send to the UMDF, which is the United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation, and that goes towards research. We send $1,000 every year to Mito Action, which is, does the awareness of the disease. So it goes to two different organizations and most of the money, 90% of it goes to research. Fantastic. Fantastic. As a mother, as Brianna's mother, to see um, what she has to deal with on a daily basis, how do you describe your daughter to people who haven't gotten a chance to meet her? From a mother's perspective, how would you describe her to uh, people? Brianna struggles um, many days. Like I said, she has to use a wheelchair on certain days or if we know we're gonna walk very long because her body just can't walk very far. Um, she just doesn't have the energy. There's days that um, Brianna can't get out of bed. She can sleep 14, 15 hours and her body just can't get out of bed. Um, the common code can be life-threatening. Um, she has, um, the common code has actually put her in intensive care at Riley Hospital so for four months out of the year, she doesn't even leave the house. She goes on homebound. Um, it's very difficult. She is a beautiful, happy, loving little girl with a big smile um, that has a disease that is, um, that is taking over her body. And until everybody knows about this disease and there's awareness, there's never gonna be treatment and cure. What does it mean though that for the last few years and even upcoming this, and Saturday that the community is coming together some of them for people uh, they don't even know um, what does it mean that the community is coming together and it's going to help your daughter? it is so heart touching to know that so many will come out for this cause for mitochondrial disease and none of them had even heard of this disease they want to help Brianna um, as her mother I can't do these things without their help so I'm so thankful and blessed that this community cares and is willing to come out and donate a little money and give their time to show that they support her. Um, I will never be able to thank this community enough for all that they have done. That's fantastic. And last question, and you've, you've been so awesome with this entire interview. 
last question. If there's one thing that you want people to know about uh, this disease, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that this is not a rare disease. Research is showing that one in 20,000 has this disease. Um, I'm sorry, one in 2,000 suffer from this disease. Um, so it's not a rare disease. It's just very difficult to diagnose. Um, like I said, your energy takes, is what runs your organs. And so one child is being sent to see um, a kidney special. Another child may have heart failure. So it's not the same. And no blood work, no x-rays told us that Brianna had mitochondrial disease. She had to have a muscle biopsy. And uh, that's what come back showing. Um, so I want them to know this is not a rare disease and these children need help. Um, they, need, they need hope. Um, I need hope that I know that tomorrow there could be a treatment and cure, but it's not gonna happen until there's awareness of this disease.